Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In the previous episode you saw us buying a Volvo 240 that has been sitting in the woods for 10 years. We rescued it from its mossy grave and went over the car briefly. If you haven't seen that video yet, I strongly recommend you take a look at it, but otherwise enjoy today's episode. Hello everyone and welcome to an episode that I am genuinely excited about. It is something that I've been waiting for for the whole week, which is reasonable I guess. Uh, but today is the day that we are going to fully clean the Volvo. Jasper, Thibault and me are really curious to know what is sitting under all of this dirty green stuff. So we are going to power wash the whole car and then uh, maybe even polish some things, who knows. Uh, but it is currently raining outside which makes the whole process uh, yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, but I think we'll start this video with giving you a full impression of how dirty the car really is and I have to give a disclaimer it is raining outside so some parts might still look a little bit better than they actually are but yeah let's take a look around the car to see what we're working with Although Greta has left the forest, the forest hasn't left Greta. Throughout the entire car there is an abundance of moss that is covering the beautiful blue paint underneath. The three of us have been waiting patiently for this moment, so we're pulling out the pressure washer to blast everything off.
Now before we clean the hood there is something you need to know. Both the hood and the front left fender have been repainted rather badly. Their surface feels really rough and there are a lot of spots where the paint is peeling off. Hence why using a pressure washer probably isn't the best idea. But we had already decided that these panels needed to be repainted so we didn't really care. This is what happened. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. A huge paint bubble exploded and took away a lot of the paint with it. Although we don't really care that this happened because the hood already looks bad, we did decide to clean the rest of the car by hand because we don't want our entire hood to become paint stripped by the end of the day. The more we clean, the more we start to notice that the paint on Greta is in better condition than we thought. Some areas already show nice reflections, so the paint has some potential. While my camera is out of focus, I'm checking up the car so that I can spray the undercarriage. That way we won't get bombarded with dirt once we put it on the lift. After that was done we put her back onto her four tires and pushed her into the shop for the next stage of the clean. The brakes still don't work so I have to use the handbrake to get her to stop. We've got the wood stove burning at maximum capacity to dry both the inside and the outside of the car. With the paint drying it is becoming clear that there still is a layer of dirt embedded in the paint. But we'll try to do something about that later because the paint is still wet. As for now we are going to focus on cleaning the interior.
To make our lives easier, Jasper is taking out both of the front seats so that we have full access to the carpet underneath. After everything got vacuumed, we're spraying all the interior parts with a cleaner and then scrub it in with a hard bristle brush. Then we vacuum the lifted dirt out of the fabric and finally wipe it down with a microfiber towel. The carpet obviously is still wet near the broken window, so to dry it I crammed the hair dryer into one of the orifices. While Thibaut is finishing the seats, I took off the worn shift boot, then treated it with some shoe polish and the result is pretty good. The last thing we are going to do is see if we can buff the hazy paint. We don't have any compound with us so we're simply going at it with some polish to see what kind of results we can get. The result after a simple buff is amazing. All the haziness just disappeared and reveals the deep blue color underneath. Jasper immediately started polishing the rest of the car so that tomorrow we can reveal what the Volvo looks like in the daylight. The three of us are so stoked on how she is looking. Obviously we are not professional detailers, so the car is not perfectly polished and in some spots there is even some polish residue to be found. But overall we are happy about the transformation and it is very motivating to start working on the rest of the car. I hope you guys enjoyed that result, I know that we did. Um, and I have to say that the car will probably become cleaner and cleaner the more that we use it and clean it. Um, because we still have these little spots where little needles of trees keep popping out. So uh, yeah, I think in a couple of months the car will look even better. We might also try to do something about the hood and the front fender. But now we are going to focus on the mechanical side of things because basically this is now a clean Swedish brick that is sitting in my driveway doing nothing. And although my philosophy is that old broken things are way cooler than new things that are working, I do want to enjoy this car on some nice roads. So 
keep an eye on the channel. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. And until next time.